Mr. Speaker, I want to thank my colleagues for unanimously passing the resolution honoring the life of Jack Kemp. Jack Kemp was an optimist. He was evangelical in his promotion of ideas and the American ideal. He believed that free people with free will and free minds and opportunity and a free market could have prosperity. He was a champion in football and in politics. His professional career started in playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He believed the American dream should be accessible to all. He was outspoken in his belief that the party of Lincoln should also be the party of all. He was a powerful orator who gave a stirring speech at the 1980 Republican National Convention where his former boss, Ronald Reagan, was nominated. He often quoted Martin Luther King, a rising tide lifts all boats. In 1965, as a member of the AFL All-Star team, he led a boycott against the city of New Orleans after businesses wouldn't allow his teammates to stay in their hotels or go to their clubs and restaurants. It was the first successful boycott against discrimination by a professional team. They moved the All-Star Game to Houston. Elected to Congress from Buffalo in 1970, he always said he was a liberal, an 18th century liberal, and that he was a small D Democrat. I was inspired by then Congressman Kemp when he was championing the free market and exporting freedom and democracy around the world to Eastern Europe and Central and Latin America. He was the first in Congress to support and promote funding of solidarity in Poland and helping Lech Walesa overthrow the communist government. But Jack wanted that same freedom to create growth and opportunity in urban America. He preferred visiting public housing projects to country clubs. He embraced every man, woman, and child, irrespective of race, creed, or religion. He truly wanted all boats to rise. He authored the 1981 tax cuts, forever known as the Kemperoff tax cuts, that led to the doubling of revenues to the federal treasury. He had the confidence and enthusiasm for the ideas, the American ideas. He inspired me so much that I took a semester off of college in 1988. I went and campaigned with him in New Hampshire and South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. I was a youth coordinator and an advance man. For several months, I was with him nearly every day. I could give his stump speech in my sleep. Free men, free minds, free markets, free enterprise, the entrepreneurial spirit, prosperity for all, the American dream, and the American ideal. Jack Kemp loved the American ideal and loved the American dream. He would go on to be President Bush's HUD secretary. He loved the fact that the son of a truck driver and a school teacher could become a professional football quarterback, a congressman, a cabinet secretary, and in 1996, the vice presidential nominee. His four children, Jeff, Jennifer, Judith, and Jimmy, and 17 grandchildren and one great-grandchildren to continue to promote the legacy, his legacy, the Jack Kemp Foundation. The Kempian economic theories live on in those of us inspired to public service as we continue to promote the American ideal he cherished and championed. My three children have heard me tell them every morning when they left for school or evenings when I dropped them off the words that Jack Kemp told me he told his children, be a leader. Jack Kemp was a leader. Jack Kemp died in May of 2009, having left the arena way too soon. President Barack Obama honored him posthumously with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Today I ask you to join me in honoring my mentor, my boss, my inspiration to public service, who believed that the civility and the idea of debate and believed in the power of the American ideal. We are joined today by some guests who also were inspired and worked for Jack Kemp. Jeffrey Lord, former Reagan official and Member, official. Members, if you'll just, uh, Representative uh, Rothman, if you'll just give me a second. Members, uh, I'd like you to uh, take a moment to um, be, pay attention to the guests that are being introduced here today by Representative Rothman. Members, if you could please take your seats. Can we turn up his, turn up his. And Representative Rothman, please proceed. Yes, we are joined today by guests who were inspired by and worked with Jack Kemp. Jeffrey Lord, a former Reagan and HUD official who worked with Jack and can now be seen regularly on CNN. Mr. Lord. 
John Bravikos, a former HUD official, also served on the HUD transition team from Chester County. Otto Banks, a former HUD official who joined uh, Jack and I on a tour of a HUD housing project in Harrisburg in 2006. Otto Banks. And finally, uh, Jimmy Kemp, the youngest son of Jack and Joanne, who also played professional football and now serves as president of the Jack Kemp Foundation. Mr. Speaker, thank you.